with coronavirus in full flow and everybody stuck at home looking for something to do, you've probably seen this splash screen hit the news recently. It's designed by Prusa, it's the RC2, uh, it's designed to stop the infection hitting your, your face and um, the medical professionals are obviously rightly interested because they're running low on PPE. I have a medical wife uh, and some medical friends, I thought it would be a good idea to print one of these and see what it came out like. So this was my first test print, made with bits I already had at home. Pet G for the screen, PLA for the headband. You can see it came out relatively well. It fits quite nicely. Um, but as soon as I started printing it, I realised that it takes quite a long time. It's two and a half hours to print the PLA part. It's about 23 seconds to cut the screen. I gave it to my friends. They were genuinely interested. Um, there is a chance that this would be useful in hospitals. Um, but late last night, one of my other friends, Dimitri Moderman, posted this design, which is the Sean Back, Dutch for clean face, apparently. Now, this design, I, I, I had a look at the two and I compared them both, uh, and I think this design is slightly better. I'm going to I'm gonna go and send both of these over to my local hospital with um, through my uh, wife and through my friends um, to see which one they prefer and see if actually they can be useful. The RC2 is currently the go-to design, it's the one everybody's talking about, but I think this one offers a few major improvements over the RC2 design uh, and I think we should start investigating this a bit better. For a start, the 3D printed bit is a lot thinner, so that means it cuts a lot faster. This 3D printed part can be done in 30 minutes instead of two and a half hours for the RC2. The screen is actually a bit smaller, so it's a bit more efficient on size. Um, and it's got these little cross bits that clip firmly and securely onto those corners. The folds on here make the screen a little bit firmer towards the face um, and it's got a small rounded edge along here instead of a large flat bit that gets a bit sweaty on the forehead. Finally these tails are a lot closer together so you only need a very small band or a small amount of elastic um, and you don't even need that actually this fits my face relatively well without that at all. For me I think the Schonbach is a slightly better design that could be produced much faster and therefore many more can be sent out to hospitals in a shorter amount of time.